In this section, we'll be learning how to customize our graphs. Now to begin with that, we want to learn how to modify our graphs. For many graph modifications, all you really need to do is to click on object on the graph and the available options are immediately visible to you. So for instance, even if you click here, there is a pop-up for graph properties. If you click on the axis, there is also a pop-up for graph properties. If you let's say click on the symbol, there is also a pop-up for graph properties as well. So that is something useful to note um, and you can always do that in Zygma plot. So for this lecture, we are going to look at modifying graphs. So what you want to do is either the first one is to right click. So once you right click, you see graph properties and it brings up this pop up menu for you or you can also maybe select or double click on almost any object and it should bring about so let's say if you double click on the axis it should bring about the graph properties now for the graph properties in this lecture we are going to deal with this graph section so how to modify your graph or your graphs so let's just select graphs so once you select graphs, it tells you that which graph is selected. So you selected this very graph that we have with this title. Okay. Now, which axis are you going? So when you make any changes, which axis will see the effect? So you can either select the X axis. So anything that you change will affect the X axis, or you can also change to the Y axis. And you can also, yeah, this is the plot. So just plot one. That's what we have now the first one is the title so if you want to show title or you do not so let's say if you don't check this the title goes away if you check it goes it comes back and you can hit rename and once you hit rename you see the edit text so you can choose let's say and from this you can maybe change the change the font change the font size so you can make changes make it bold add colors add symbols and alter it this way and it changes the title for you so that is the first way of doing that you can also change the legions so legions are very important in your data visualization so to do that first one is that we have our graph we have the axis we have the plot so you have the legion now it shows you the current legion that you have so you can uncheck this to either not show or you can check and you can also go to font so once you click font you can choose or um, format your text in here so you can and it gives you a preview of how it looks like so let's say if we choose let's go with this one so it gives you this and let's change the size to maybe 18 change the color to let's say font style to uh, bold and hit ok and you see the effect right away so yeah and you can also change if you don't want a frame or you want a frame you can also lock the legion so that you can move it around or make any changes to it when you double click on it and also um, direct labeling and intra spacing so for the box for instance you can also click on it and you can change the color of the box to let's say red and the transparency you can also add a pattern to it so let's just try something um, let's just do medium and you can hit apply to see what it, how it looks like and let's make it a little lighter yeah and you can also change the end colors so it's fun what you can do with this and also change the thickness um, of the legion box and even give it a gradient gradient angle okay 
so yeah that is how you also edit um, this one and make it nice and you can also reset it so you can reset it to the original if I've, you don't want to keep all those changes now for the legion text itself you can also come in hit edit and it brings about the same edit text toolbar and you can type whatever that you need in here let's just try and from this one you can also edit the text as you need and all and change colors and hit ok and then it changes and you can improve on the spacing so if you change this the spacing changes you can also change the symbol size so once you change um that it changes and all and you can also go with some of these symbol placements so do you want it to be before text or after text so it flips to the other way around and finally you can also change the style to either a line a symbol because we have a line you're just seeing a line but for instance if you have line plus symbol and um you can now show how you want your legend to look like so that is also one way of modifying your legion the next will be the grid so the same way now you have your x axis selected so you're going to see grids in the x axis and or you can also come to this side and you see that you have x major so it means any changes that you make over here is going to affect the major ticks along the x axis so let's just go to let's say solid and you see them and then you see you can change the color change the thickness of the grid and and add transparency and you can also bring to front or bring to back of the graph then you can choose let's say the y major and let's say I go with um, medium dashes and from there you can also change the colors if you need and change the thickness as well and you can do same for the minor grids as well yeah you can also do same for that so that is how you add grids to your graph and graph planes so this one also helps you to let's say modify your graph plane so if you have 2d we'll get to 3d plot and you see that you have different planes and how you want to modify it but because this is 2d you can only modify your xy plane and basically you can just change the color so let's say we want to change it to pink and then you can change the transparency make it lighter something yeah so that is also basically it so that is how you modify your graph